The free will client base is essentially twofold. So for a very long time we've been servicing the pro television programmer and broadcaster landscape as, as most folks know. Um, but more recently we've broadened our scope to include uh, media companies and portals who are augmenting their strategy for monetization to include video creation or even outstream units, the use of video in creative ways in order to bolster uh, monetization. So, and those two segments look at this market very, very differently. So, the way that Freewheel is approaching this is, in that same vein, very different. So, the SSP itself that is built into the ad server uh, to help programmers and broadcasters uh, and MVPDs leverage a, a growing landscape of buyers wanting to leverage data and audience buying in order to target audiences in a more granular fashion across television content uh, in a very different way than we're, than we're addressing the market of, of media. And we can talk about both really quickly. Uh, in the programmer segment uh, and the broadcaster segment, the most important thing for these folks is control. And that's what our platform in its essence is designed to to allow for. So as we start to open the gates to allow audience buying to be um, a transaction model through the ad server util utilizing the Freewheel SSP, uh, it was very important to us that that integration upholds all of the control mechanisms with regard to competitive separation in pre, mid, post, particularly mid, since that's, that's, a, that's an area of particular pain point when it comes to uh, programmatic uh, ad insertion essentially in television quality content um, and a host of others, right? So all of the compliance aspects, the rights management that comes along with the television business that the Freewill ad server um, provides. So essentially the concept of being able to on an impression by impression basis to whatever level the publisher sees fit allow the SSP to compete on an impression level um, on preemptible campaigns all the way up to guaranteed campaigns. So it's a smart engine that works in tandem with one another such that pacing of direct campaigns can be fulfilled, but if, uh, if price and if yield is a strategy for that publisher, the SSP can, on an impression by impression basis, inject high quality advertising content uh, in a programmatic fashion, in an audience-based fashion, while still uh, upholding the commitments that come out of, of the upfront season and direct sales. When it comes to the other side of the house, so if control is on the, the uh, television side, uh, it's much more about monetization on the media and portal segment, right? And I think there are a number of players in that marketplace, and where we really try to differentiate is that this isn't just another demand play. That display, we've been there, we've done that. We've, we've seen the commoditization of this inventory have a negative effect on our marketplace as a whole, for, from consumer um, to brand to, to publisher, all of it. So what we want is for that not to happen here. So whether it's a uh, publisher creating original content or utilizing video units themselves, the idea is that we are essentially an empowerment platform, I think is the best way to think of it, to best understand the value of that inventory, right? So there are far too many black boxes in this marketplace, uh, far too many bites of the apple being taken out of every impression. And what our SSP does, both for broadcasters and programmers and the media segment, is expose uh, down to seat level for private marketplace deals, gross bids, first price bids, um, the data that allows the publisher to value their inventory and package their inventory appropriately, but also see what the marketers are valuing in certain inventory segments for and open that conversation, right? Um, we're hoping that a lot of the business intelligence that comes out of our SSP on both sides of the house encourages conversations to create direct deals, uh, guaranteed programmatic deals based on audience. And, and in our mind, especially when it comes to this um, broadening segment of media companies who are creating uh, video and utilizing video to uh, monetize their sites, to create an environment where they are in control 
of the value and to really think about the the value of transparency. I think it's something that, that's often lost because it's too, e too hard to quantify, but that's what we're trying to break down and show each publisher. If you actually see the value of that inventory to the, to the buyers and they can transact how they want, there's incredible value, monetary value there.